Practically on the same day, South Korea, the U.S., and Japan separately issued sanctions targeting North Korea's illegal weapons development program. This comes about a week after it attempted its second spy satellite launch. Our foreign affairs correspondent Pei Yunji begins our coverage. In response to North Korea's provocation, South Korea has imposed a new round of sanctions on the regime. The foreign ministry announced Friday that the sanctions target five individuals and a company involved in the North's nuclear missile development and funding. This includes a North Korean firm called Dugyong Program Development, which reportedly plays a key role in Pyongyang's development of unmanned weapon systems. The company's chief, Yu gyong and four other company officials, Kim hak Chang Chang won Lee Char-min, and Kim Ju-won, have been put on the list. The foreign ministry explained that South Korea is the first in the world to impose sanctions on this particular company and those related to it. This is the 11th round of sanctions put in place against the North since President Yoon song yeol took office in May last year, and they're now among a total of 54 individuals and 51 institutions that have been sanctioned so far. The Japanese government also said Friday that it has imposed sanctions on three groups and four individuals involved in North Korea's nuclear missile development, saying they would continue to seek North Korea's denuclearization and closely cooperate with Seoul and Washington. In coordination with South Korea and Japan, the United States also newly sanctioned two individuals and one entity who have directly supported or helped generate revenue for North Korean organizations linked to the development of weapons of mass destruction. The action targets two Russia-based individuals, Chun Jin-young and Mikhailo V. Kozlov, as well as a company, Intellect LLC, that's owned or controlled by Kozlov and connected with a Moscow-based construction project coordinated by Chun. The sanctions come a day after Pyongyang launched two ballistic missiles in what it called a tactical nuclear strike drill, and about a week after the regime failed its second attempt to put a spy satellite into space. The coordinated action from the three countries also comes after their leaders agreed to improve their joint response capabilities to North Korea's threats during their historic summit at Camp David. Pei Lin-ji, Arirang News.